Hi, my name is Cla Clayton. My given name is Taylor Henry. I'm a Tulalip tribal member and I do Coast Salish weaving. So my first class was back in 2014 with a friend of mine from Suquamish. Um, at that time, I was had an interest of weaving. I have always been attracted to the ways of our ancestors, so I was always interested of learning how to weave or anything traditional. A lot of my family weaves, so I guess it's just something I've always been around and it's just something I decided I wanted to pick up as a traditional art. Well, if you take uh, the wool from the shared point, there's a lot of technical part that goes into that. That's you know, taking it from the shared point, cleaning it, picking it, carding it, spinning it, and then you can dye it if you want, and then you can start weaving it, and that's like about two thirds of the work. Right now I'm doing a, a basic, well, not basic, a twill design which is um, the basic twill is under under two, over two, and then you move over one as you move up in the rows. This one I am doing a twill design, but it is a, I'm making it into a multiple diamond design. So you can, there are different twill designs you can do instead of um, the herringbone twill. What I do now is Coast Salish weaving, and it is specific to the Coast Salish region. This type of weaving is, I guess, I would say kind of the foundation of our way of life. Weaving blankets and mostly blankets is the foundation of what we do, starting out a new way of life starts out with standing on a blanket in the longhouse. Um, you know, when you're a baby is born, the first thing you want to do is get a blanket. And when somebody passes, you want to wrap somebody in a blanket. There's only like five distinct wool weaving designs. I mean, there's it's very different than basket weaving because this is a double-sided, you know, you can flip it over and get the same design. Basket is more of a one-sided, so you can do a lot more detail design. Um, there's triangle, the zigzag, this wave design, here and here. And then we have on this piece, there's the squares. And then like a, a bigger diamond, which is just two of the triangles put together. Um, so this this is a mountain, we call it the mountain design because they're, you know, they're stacked and made to look like a mountain. This wave design here represents the water, water designs. And the zigzag is, there's, it depends on the weaver and the story behind what they're weaving. Can mean different things, zigzag, lightning, however you want to interpret it. Um, but there's, yeah, there's only about those five distinct dines you'll see in weavings, the wool weavings. Weaving means a lot to me. It's helped me through a lot. Um, you know, it has a, the healing capacity 
and it's not just for me it's for whoever i'm weaving for and for the community it's more than just the weaving there's a lot more to it there's a lot more spiritual aspect to it like it, it has a lot of meaning to me because it is the foundation of who we are as Coast Salish people because in all of our ceremonies, no matter what it is, we, we need those blankets. And this is what I do. It's weaving the blankets for our community to help them.